hello students so in our last class we have discussed what is a fiber then what are different types of fibers we have in we have now and what are the different types of fabrics okay then in detail we have discussed what are the synthetic fibers and what are the nature of synthetic fibers we have also explained polymer concept so today we will start with the different types of synthetic fiber today our main focus will be on what are the different types of synthetic fiber we will learn all in detail and along with that we will learn the use of these fibers where these fibers are been used okay so to, to start with the synthetic fibers we have there are different types of synthetic fibers but we will mainly focus on rayon nylon polyester and acrylic fiber so i guess this rayon nylon and polyester these three are common to all of us we all have heard these names but this acrylic fiber is a bit new one i will explain all in detail so let us start with rayon so what is rayon it is a synthetic fiber prepared by chemical treatment of wool wood pulp so in last class i have explained what are synthetic fibers the fibers which are made by human beings using some chemical in industries so these are the type of synthetic fiber that means these all will be made by using some chemical so they are telling there it is a synthetic type of synthetic fiber which is prepared by chemical treatment this chemical some chemical reaction or treatment is there of wood pulp what is wood pulp mm, you have seen production of paper in probably in youtube okay or in some, some other platform how paper is produced for example first we have some wood then this will be converted into some soft forms and this to paper you can use directly this you can for example you are taking a tree and you can't directly convert it to a paper they are first what they will do they will cut the tree to small pieces and these small pieces they will grind into small powder like things like soft things and or some they will mix with water or some soft, something it will be soft and this thing will be converted to paper so this soft part in between part is known as your wood pulp okay what is wood pulp now you know the soft part the soft form of wood is known as wood pulp these fibers are spun into yarn and then woven into fabrics okay so what they are telling after the fibers you obtained using this chemical reaction of wood pulp what they will do they will spoon it into a yarn spoon means um, for example if this is a stick okay this is a stick and you are um, doing okay you are just wrapping this stick with your fibers okay for example as you do it kite oh, i guess all of you have used kite in your life in your childhood okay what you do in case of kite we take a um, stick and upon this stick we just um, wrap our thread so this is known as your um, process of spoon okay and it is done in yarn okay it is converted into yarn so this is known as yarn then the then it's over into fabric and then from it from the thread or from the fiber fiber fabric different cloths will be prepared fabric means cloths remember it is also called artificial silk because it resembles silk in appearance so all of you have seen silk cloths in home so this rayon is known as artificial silk that means because it resembles that means it feels like or it looks like your original silk so it is known as artificial silk it is cheaper than silk and can be dyed easily so as it is made artificially using some chemicals obviously it will be cheap in comparison with the natural one because natural one is a big process lengthy process and natural organisms are involved there so that it will be costly and this artificial silk is cheap in price and can be dyed easily dyed means dyed means color coloring okay you can color it easily you can give the it according to your color you want red blue white any color you can make it okay it absorbs sweat and thus can be comfortably worn in summer so what it do this type of um, fiber that is rayon absorbs sweat from our body if you wear this clothes so in summer what happens all of you sweat in summer due to hot climate so in summer this type of cloth can be preferable because they absorb our sweat from our body okay 
so these are the details of about rayon now we need to know where you use this rayon type of fiber the first is it is used in industry, textile industry for making fabrics so they are telling the first use is this type of rayon fiber is used for making different type of cloths whenever you get the term fabrics consider it as cloths okay cloths for making cloths next is it is mixed with cotton to make bed sheet dress apron and caps so it this type of rayon is a synthetic fiber it it is used or it is mixed with your natural fiber that is cotton it is we are mixing a synthetic with a natural that means rayon plus cotton we are mixing these two to get a new type which is used for making bed sheet then dress different type of dresses then aprons what are aprons the coat doctor wear or the coat scientist wear these are known as apron okay then caps we all wear caps so for you making this this combination of rayon and cotton is used then third use is it is mixed with wool to make beautiful durable carpets so we know in our home there are different types of carpets some are used for um, making our floor look beautiful some are used for um, cleaning our feet okay so there are carpets for different purpose so to make different durable that means if carpets are made using these fibers it will last for long time so for making durable carpets this type of um, rayon fiber is used with combination with wool that means in this case they are adding rayon plus wool to get what to get carpet okay then the third is it is used for manufacturing tire cords okay so it is also involved in the manufacture of tires tire wool no okay then it is used for making bandages and lints for surgical dressing of wounds so in surgery people uses bandage you have seen after a cut or after surgery what people do people cover the um, wounds with bandages so for making these bandages or this use surgical purposes this fiber rayon fiber is also used okay for making bandages and lints so these are some of the uses and description of rayon now we'll move on to the next that is nylon so i guess about nylon all of you know because in our home if you just mm, sit in your home and look around in your home in your room you will see nylon is there the basic example i can give you mm, in our home after washing our clothes what we do we keep our clothes outside in sun in a hot sun to make them dry and we use the nylon thread isn't it we use a nylon thread and upon this we give our clothes right like this type of thread we use so now i guess you can relate these things try to relate these things with your natural or with your life every day you are living okay try to relate things around you so that it will become easy science will become easy to you so let us read nylon nylon is the first synthetic fiber made by humans so out of the all type of fibers we learn now under synthetic group nylon was the first synthetic fiber that means first of all human discovered nylon fiber okay in mm, among fibers in artificial fiber sorry it is becoming bit clumsy i am explaining it again out of all synthetic fibers the nylon fiber was first discovered by human beings prepared by human beings so we know this all synthetic fibers are nothing but polymers what are polymers in last class i have explained if we add small 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 units and we connect all this is known as our polymer i think if you have joined the last class you know this what is polymer and each this unit is known as our monomer one is monomer and if you join all small small units it is known as our polymer so this is also a polymer it is a polyamide fiber there is a polymer how it is prepared prepared by joining a large number of amide molecules so there is monomer there is each of the small are known as amide and the whole is known as polyamide polyamide we are using joining small 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 amide and making a polyamide so it is a polyamide fiber 
nylon is very strong we all know nylon is very strong then it is lustrous lustrous means having lustre that means uh, having some shining nature shining in nature okay then highly elastic you know elastic what is elasticity you can stretch it okay then extremely fine okay it called as extremely fine then lightweight nylons are very lightweight easy to wash you can wash nylon easily then wrinkle free there will be no wrinkle in nylons okay then this is why you may have seen nylon cloth people never give iron okay then does not absorb water so nylon does not absorb water in your home if you have nylon thread okay just do one thing absorb try to dip it into water bucket and again you take it up you will see that it will absorb no water they do not absorb any water they are like plastic okay it is resistant to fungi and moths so yes they do not absorb water that means in their surface there will be no water so without water no organism such as fungi and moths can not grow so it is resistant to these things it remains insoluble in most of the common solvents and also you cannot dissolve it with anything for example cotton if you place a cotton in a water mug okay in a mug containing alcohol after some times it will it may mix with the solution but a nylon will never mix okay it is insoluble in any solution in most of solution okay so these are some properties of nylon just remember this polymer concept All, all small units are known as monomer, and when you join all, it is becoming polymer. So in this case, we are, our small units are amide. We are joining multiple amide and making it polyamide. So what are the different uses of nylon? First, due to high tensile. So what is tensile? Stretch capacity. You can stretch it. Okay. So due to high tensile strength, nylon fiber is used for making fishing nets. So all fishing nets we see. we have seen or we have see are made from nylon then climbing ropes so some people climb mountains so for climbing people use this um, some sorts okay or strings these are made up of nylon then parachute fibers so fibers used in parachute are also made from nylon then strings for sport rackets so for case, example in case of badminton rackets you have seen the this is nets are made using nylon fiber and musical instruments in some musical instruments also nylon fibers are used bristles okay bristles for toothbrush and okay paint brush for example i let me explain this if you have a toothbrush there are some hair like okay which using which we brush our teeth we brush our teeth okay so this hair like things are known as your bristles okay bristles okay so these are also made by using nylon you have seen your to your toothbrush okay this small small hairs are made up of nylon in case of paint brushes also these are made up of nylon there are some other use also we we'll learn what are other use wool blended with nylon is used for making socks suits and carpets that means wool plus Okay, I'm writing again. Wool plus nylon equal to shocks. So for making shocks, we'll use combination of wool and nylon. Then suits for making different type of suits also it is used. Then for making carpets also. For making carpets also, nylon is used. It is used in the production of textiles, clothing like shari, shirt. Then neck ties socks and other garments so it is also used for the production of sari and suits different type of shirts then neck ties for production of neck tie then socks also it is used as i told earlier socks for socks it is widely used for making parts of machine such as washer and pulleys etc so in case you have um, you have opened any small machines or any um, what should i say it is damaged okay any damaged machine in your home you have seen there are small small washers or in case of um, tap water tap you have seen there are washers okay so uh, these washers are made up of nylon okay so try to relate things in such way that you can relate things nearby in your home for example in cylinder gas cylinder you have seen some washers are there so these washers all washers are made up of nylon okay let us move into next that is 
polyester so what is polyester it is also polymer made up of repeating units of an organic chemical called ester so if small 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 esters these are smaller ester you are joining multiple ester and you are making a polyester okay so we know the concept what is polymerization you joining small 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 some monomer getting a polymer so they are now using small 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 so ester to making a polyester okay one is known as ester and all together is known as polyester esters are the chemicals that give fruity smell so polyesters have some fruity smell because these esters give them the fruity smell these chemicals give them fruity smells <laughs> terrin terrin and dacron are some examples of polyester fibers so there are different polyester fibers some common examples are terrin terrin and dacron dacron okay so you need to remember these names terrin forms terricot when mixed with cotton and terry wool when mixed with wool so they are telling this when terrin plus cotton it forms terricot okay when you add this it will form terricot you know terricot is there then when terrin is mixed with for example terry is mixed with wool it gives terry wool so we also know terry wool this are used for terry cotton is most common you have seen this term terry cotton in case of you have ever um, visited any cloth shop okay any garment shop with your father or mother you have heard the term terry cotton so terry cotton is most common how it is prepared mixing terry with cotton okay we will la learn in detail polyester can be drawn into very fine fibers that can be woven like any other yarn so what they do terry poly they are saying that the polyester can be converted okay into very fine fibers which can be used like any other type of fiber for example cotton cotton is fine so you can convert this into the um, as fine as cotton you can convert this fiber into as soon like as soon as the cotton polyester is lightweight strong elastic absorb little amount of water dries quickly after washing and is wrinkle free similarly the previous case it is some good character what are these these are lightweight these are strong elastic absorb little amount of water in the in earlier case of nylon it absorbs no water but polyester absorbs some amount little amount of water it dries very quickly after washing and it is wrinkle free it will have no wrinkle so what are the different uses let us learn polyester fibers like terrin are used for manufacturing sari dress material and cartons so these are used for making sari dress material and other cartons okay it is used for making sails of sailboat so what is this sails if you see this sailboat okay these things you have seen in this photo also or in tv television also in a boat so these are known as this type of boats are known as sailboats and these things are made of this polyester this cloths are made up of this polyester okay so these are known as sails sail sails okay it is used for making water hose for fire fighting operation what is this hoses in case you have seen any fire fighting there is um, any fire brigade okay in case of fire brigade you have seen they do not use plastic pipe you will never you see them using some plastic pipe they use some pipe which is plastic like but not plastic it is like something like cotton cotton type okay you can see it something like cotton type pipe so how they prepare this pipe this pipe are is prepared by using different types of um, materials and out of this all materials polyester is one type you have if you have seen this hoses you just do one thing after this class go to google or youtube and search water hoses you will get a clear idea how this hoses look like okay these are some pipe which are not made of plastic but they are made of different types of material which can they move in any direction okay plastic have some limitations but these have no limitations so they use this and in this making of this they use the um, polyester material okay then the next is it is for making conveyor belts so in different big big malls you may have seen that um, if you place your object in one place it will move to the up to the cashier 
okay or in for example in big bazaar you have seen the escalators are there if you just step into the first stair the belt will take you to the aft stair so this there are some robot like materials on those materials this polyester are used that is making of conveyor okay conveyors then terracotta is used for making shirts trousers and other dress materials so it is also used for making shirts and other dress materials it is also used for making suits it is also used for making different suits such as coat pant okay these things so these are some uses of terracotta next okay polythin terrestrial it okay what is it pet okay so this is a this is a compound name as pet okay the full frame is polythin terephthalate okay terephthalate okay how it is used it is a familiar familiar form of polyester so it is some somewhat same like your polyester where it is used bottles made of pet are used in industries for selling oils soft drinks and other food items pet is used in making synthetic cloths that are easy to wash and wrinkle free it is also used for making films okay utensils and wares so this is some similar material like polyester it is used for making bottles which are used for packaging your oil then soft drinks okay these are different uses of this it is also used for making cloths so this is extra information you need to know about pet next is acrylic fiber so what is acrylic fiber this is the last type of fiber okay we are reading over here then next on the next class we start the next type acrylic fiber is a synthetic fiber made from a polymer called polyacryl nitrile okay remember this term polyacrylo okay nitrile polyacryl nitrile is big term try to remember this it is made from where acrylic fiber made from this okay, compound polymer okay acrylic fiber is lightweight soft warm with a wool like feel so it can be you can consider it as a duplicate wool there is artificial wool because it gives you warm and it is soft and lightweight it can be dyed with different colors so it is also you can you have the flexibility to make it color it into different colors okay you can make it give it to give it any color okay you have the flexibility what are the different uses of it the wool obtained from natural sources is quite expensive whereas cloths made from acrylic fibers are more are relatively cheap acrylic fiber is used for making sweaters shawls blanket jackets and cushions so they are telling this the wool which you obtain from natural things such as um, our own sheep okay from these things we obtain a natural wool so natural wool is very expensive so this being the artificial one is cheap and it is used for making different shawls blankets then sweaters okay these are some of the use so today up to this much we have learned what are the different types of synthetic fibers mainly we have learned rayon nylon polyester and acrylic fibers so now we will move on to some advantages and disadvantages of natural Mm, sorry or your synthetic fibers there are only few advantages and disadvantages then our this class is over what are different advantages high tensile strength synthetic fibers are very strong and have high tensile strength tensile mean elasticity elasticity okay you can stretch it okay as long as you want okay so this have high elasticity okay high tensile strength as yes, they can hold large amount of weight without breaking in comparison to natural fibers like cotton and wool so in comparison to cotton and wool they can hold more weight then this is why it is considered as having high tensile strength okay then next is low water absorbing capacity synthetic fibers absorb very little amount of water moisture due to this a wet cloth of synthetic fibers dries up rapidly synthetic fibers are said to possess dry so what they are telling is what are the, we are writing the advantages what are the good features so first is high tensile strength you can stretch it no problem next is low water absorbing capacity for example if we have a wool jacket and if you wash it it will obviously take 2 to 3 days to become dry 
okay and in, in between this two to three day what you will do you will die of this um, cold weather if it is a winter season okay but in case of that instead of that if you have a um, synthetic fiber jacket made up of synthetic fiber what you will do as yes, synthetic fiber absorbs very less water so it will dry up easily so it will be become easy to for you for washing and for making it making it dry so this is one advantage that it absorbs low water so it is easy to dry next is abrasion resistant what is abrasion resistant most of the synthetic fibers have a high abrasion wear and tear resistance so cloth made of synthetic fibers are long lasting and durable so if you have seen for example you take in your home do one experiment take one old um, cotton sari of your mother okay and you just give, try to tear it what will happen cotton will tear it you can tear the cotton sari easily because it is um, not that um, strong but if you take a silk not silk sorry synthetic sari of your mother you try to stretch okay tear it you will never be able to tear it because they are very much strong so this part of this strongness is known as abrasion okay abrasion resistance that means whenever you will put energy to separate this you will try to wear and tear this you cannot do this so so it is known as abrasion resistant you cannot just damage it easily wear and tear easily okay next is less expensive obviously this been the artificial manufactured in the industry using some chemicals this will be cheaper compared to the natural everything which human made human are preparing using some machines are cheaper in this nature is compared to the natural one then good elasticity most synthetic fibers are fairly elastic they can be stretched and compressed to some extent and or relaxing the force they be in origin shape okay and they have some good elasticity feature for example if you take a nylon thread and if you stretch it and if you rem- again you, you leave it what will happen it will return back to the original state that means you can stretch it but it will never be damaged so this is also good feature so these are some good features of synthetic fibers now we will see some bad features also the bad first bad feature is melt and burn easily you have heard the term that many times whenever any person get burned due to fire for example a woman is cooking and she suddenly fire catches in her sari you just ask her whether she was wearing a cotton sari or a synthetic sari people will say okay she was wearing a synthetic sari because in most of the incident what happens people wear synthetic sari and then become they become negligent but they do not know the science that synthetic sari catches fire so easily so this was one of the this is one of the demerit that synthetic fire carries synthetic cloth carries fires too easily and they gets burned easily also it high temperature for example nylon nylon thread okay if you bring it um, close to any fire object fire for example a candle what will happen it will melt so they melts and burn very easily then next is non biodegradable these things synthetic sari is all considered in nylon thread if you see nylon threads these are plastic like materials okay these are non biodegradable that means they will never naturally mix with the um, environment for example if you throw cotton into outside your home into um, into soil what will happen after one week after one month after one year you will not see this cotton over here because it will automatically mix with the soil but in the same place if you throw a nylon thread or nylon string outside your home after one year after 10 year after 100 year it will be there because it is not biodegradable naturally it is not mixing with the soil environment so these are non biodegradable so these are causing pollution so this is one of its demerit okay it is causing pollution uncomfortable during summers during summers what happen all of which sweat our from our body sweat um, goes out so what happens in this situation so for example this is summer all of we prefer cotton clothes during the daytime because in summer we cannot wear this synthetic things because they do not absorb sweat so this is one of the main reason we avoid synthetic fibers during summer so this is also a demerit develops skin problem synthetic fibers may cause skin diseases like 
ओके इजामिया व्हाट इज दिस ओके एक्जेमा सॉरी सॉरी माय मिस्टेक एक्चुअली दिस स्किन स्किन इज स्मॉल सो आई कैंट सी आई एम टीचिंग फ्रॉम फोन इन सम पीपल एक्जेमा ओके एक्जेमा या काइंड ऑफ डिजीज व्हिच हैपेंस व्हेन यू वेयर सम क्लॉथ्स थ्रू व्हिच एयर कैन नॉट पास ओके that means from sweat or when you when you burn in your body sweat is there okay or this sweat is not drying up okay it is there your body is constantly wet for a long period of time so this type of disease comes this eczema so this is synthetic cloth also causing leading you to some diseases so this four are the disadvantages of this bad features of synthetic fibers so far up to this class we have discussed four types of synthetic fibers there are some good features that is advantages and some bad features that is disadvantages so this is for today in next class we will explain the remaining part to discuss is a bit long one so i hope if you have any doubt you will ask now thank you